Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 6th, 2018. So my goodness, this morning we're waking up to a complete reversal here in the market uh, from last Monday. Um, it's almost kind of hard to hard to uh, catch your breath because just Monday we were gapping up 450 points and now we're indicating a gap down of uh, 400 points and possibly even more. Um, we've been down as much as 500 points. The futures are currently trying to rally that up just a little bit. But as you can see, we've had <laughs> this technical damage in this chart is just nasty as all get out. And this gap down here um, really seems to well be generated on an awful lot of emotion. If uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about this morning is if you're finding yourself consistently losing money in this market, if you're finding this market to be very challenging, if you wish you could go back to the 1st of November and just have not traded to protect your money, it may be time for you to recognize the, that this is not your market. You know, we don't have to trade every day to be successful. What we have to do is be disciplined to a set of rules. And remember that every day is not a great day to trade. When we have this kind of of wild volatility, tremendous market emotion that's that's wrapped up in these uh, this price action, then it makes it extremely challenging to trade. And unless you're extremely experienced or a very quick intraday trader, it's very very difficult to identify any edge at all in the market. So watch that closely and remember. If you're losing money consistently, it's time to stop. It's time to protect that capital. It's time to get some help, regroup, and approach the market when your edge returns. I mean, just notice the wildness of this market right here compared to what we are experiencing right over here. This is tradable. This is a nightmare. So remember that and realize that not every day do you have to trade? So let's take a look and see what's going on here this morning. Let's remove some bias and see what we've got in uh, in this chart. Clearly, we had this uh, downtrend line and we broke that downtrend line in that one day gap up open. And then we completely reverse that. Now, why did that happen? Well, there's several reasons that happened. We had um, the three year um uh, three-year bond yields uh, went above uh, the five-year bond yields here on um, Tuesday, and that created some fear of a potential recession. Of course, the true yield curve inversion doesn't occur until the two-year actually rises above the 10-year, and that hasn't happened yet. It's just that we have a very un an emotional market right now. Now, the gap down this morning, we had several things come into play. First, First, just the concern over the U.S.-China uh, trade negotiations and things like that, the uncertainty of all that has the market kind of on edge. We ended up arresting a tech CEO out of China um, this weekend. Uh, there will be um, a hearing, I guess, on Friday. They're suspected of using their devices to spy. Um, and then obviously adding tension to the U.S. Uh, Chinese thing. It was it was flatly... Um, uh, how do you say, uh, China objected to the arrest uh, completely. And then um, um, OPEC uh, cut their production, but not near as much as everyone was expecting. So oil is taking another pretty substantial hit this morning. And all these things have combined into kind of a perfect storm here. So ugliness in, uh, in the market, and that's what's going on here right now. A lot of uncertainty, a lot of it's political uncertainty, and the market absolutely hates uncertainty. So when we have that kind of uh, thing going on, we get all of this thrashing around um, and making it very, very difficult. 
difficult for most traders um, to come out, you know, uh, with their shirt left um, because they're trying to trade in a market they really have no business being in. If you take a look right now this morning, breaking that downtrend, that certainly creates additional technical damage here in the chart. And if we take a look right where we're about to open, we're down here in this area where we could see some support. So the critical thing this morning for us, if you're if you're bound and determined to trade, what we need to do is watch and wait and see if there are additional sellers that come in after this gap pushing the, the market lower. Just as I reminded everyone on Monday, okay, on a big gap like that, on any gap like that, let's wait and see if there's actually follow through buyers before you jump into the market. There never was follow through buyers. It was just a completely engineered gap and then they sold it off. So could this be the same thing this morning? Could this gap down find the bulls stepping in, supporting price support, in, in the chart and moving us back up. That's entirely possible. We have to be patient and wait for that. Don't chase this bearish move because we don't know if it's real until we actually see follow through sellers pushing it lower. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the SPY here real quick. I need to speed up. I don't want the video to be too long. Once again, that gap above the uh, downtrend line here, um, but we've given that back and now we're gapping down here this morning. At least we're holding these lows so far. Let's just wait and see if there's follow through selling or if those bulls step in to support that price. If we take a look at the moving averages, um, this is going to be a problem for us. Um, notice now that we're likely to have the 50 cross down through the 200 or that death cross occur and we've created a significant level of resistance for us to rally back kind of a bummer but that is the case um, if we look at the cues the cues already made that cross and I warned about this um, on Monday that all of this resistance right in this area would have to watch that closely we needed to see that follow through buying to push that through well now we've got that death cross market gapping down into here let's hope it it holds these lows some cooler heads um, come in and um, start to find some levels of support so let's be very careful on how we trade this also let's take a look at that IWM um, whoops IWM really gave it up on um, on Tuesday, um, we rallied up to this 50 day moving average up into that resistance area. I talked about the importance of that resistance area and then um, just got clubbered, clobbered here, I should say, clobbered. And um, now we're down here testing. Uh, these lows and you can see this morning we're actually gapping down to a brand new low here in um, IWM and may actually fail this low back here in October. So pretty brutal morning, but please keep in mind that anytime the market pulls back, we don't have to be trading, we can be waiting. Um, and remember when this is over, there's gonna be great buys to be had. So stay calm, stay disciplined, stay focused on price action. Let's take a look at the VIX real quick. The VIX certainly um, disappointed us um, on Tuesday, gapping up and running pretty darn hard. Now, so far, this has been able to hold this resistance high, but the gap down this morning is likely going to push this back outside of that little downtrend wedge. Fear is likely to come in in a hard way this morning. We'll have to see if there's follow through to that fear this morning, but doggone it, uh, busting through that resistance high and giving us some ugliness here. So hate to see that happen, but that does occur. Now, what we don't want to see is we don't want to see that turn into sheer panic. And you know, if we see sellers pile on this morning, we could see that fear really spike up here. Okay. So keep that in mind. That's going to increase all of your option prices dramatically because uh, the, the implied volatility will spike. Keep that in mind. Let's take a look um, at T21. 
22. That four week new high, new low ratio, you can see this thing has just been all over the map because of the crazy volatility of this market. Um, on Monday, we were up here testing out. If you guys remember, I said we're getting up here toward that bearish reversal zone. Um, turned out that was the case. And then in just, um, you know, those two days we came all the way back down here into this bullish reversal zone. But this morning we are gapping 400 points lower. So that's why I think there may be, there may be a possibility after the morning rush to see the bulls defend because we're down here in this really short term oversold area. We'll probably be clear down here at the bottom. So watch that closely. But remember, we don't have to bounce out of there immediately. Um, as you can see right in here, here we had that period where we kind of bounced around down in here we don't have to bounce straight right back up so watch that close let's take a look um, at our economic calendar for today we have a bunch of stuff on the economic calendar um, that could either help or worsen the situation we have the ADP report international trade jobless claims productivity and costs factory orders in ism manufacturing in the eia petroleum status report and you can see this just keeps moving on and then we have the fed speaker down here um, later tonight and several um, fed speakers throughout the day so busy busy day and then also remember that on friday we have the employment situation number that's always a big number that the market focuses on so um, we we've just got a lot on, on the plate of the market here. So kind of keep that in mind. On the earnings front, we have about 57 companies reporting earnings today. They're already coming in, but I gotta be honest, I don't expect too many people are too focused on that today. They're gonna be focused on this big gap down but it is a part of your due diligence that you must um, look at those uh, financials or look at those earnings reports and plan if you happen to hold one of those or you're thinking about purchasing one of those. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I know this is just kind of a bummer uh, of a morning uh, waking up this morning, but try to try to stand off just a little bit. Stay calm, stay disciplined, stay focused on price action now will help a lot remember it's not personal this is business okay and we have to treat it like that um I'm, I'm not going to give out any trade ideas today because who knows what the, what the charts will actually look like after the market opens up. So I, it would be irresponsible of me with so much volatility to, to put out any trade ideas. But kind of keep, keep that in mind that you just want to be um, careful. You want to be um, a little bit patient here. Let's see if this volatility will drop out. Let's see if some cooler heads will prevail. Uh, before we start um, getting too anxious about jumping back into the market. With that, everyone, um, please do me a favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons. Those help me just a ton. And it also helps a ton when you leave just a brief comment, even just a thank you or, or a one letter response. Um, um, that helps a lot because comments on the video Videos, um, help those algorithms show these videos to more folks and if you find this useful maybe other folks will as well also I forget to say this all the time but please feel free to share these videos with any friends and family um, you know share it on Facebook share it on Twitter um, that helps an awful lot as well so with that everyone take care be safe be careful stay calm don't get overly um, overly cranked up about this sell-off this morning don't chase it and and don't dread it because if you're if you're flat in your account if you're just sitting by on the sidelines and waiting remember you have the edge when you wait for the market to perform the way you want it to perform you do not have to trade every single day that's not a requirement to be successful as a trader so with that everyone take care have a great day and we'll talk to you all very very soon bright and early friday morning